And now for the news in detail, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, the Emir of the State of Kuwait, on the National Day and Liberation Day of Kuwait. His Majesty extended his congratulations to His Highness the Emir, praying to Allah Almighty to bless him with good health and Kuwait and its people further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty hailed the deep rooted historical relations between Bahrain and Kuwait, commending the development and advancement of Kuwait and its regional and international standing. His Majesty the King of Affirmed the kingdom's keenness to further consolidate cooperation in all domains and the interests of both countries and people. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, on Kuwait's National Day and Kuwait Liberation Day. His Royal Highness expressed his best wishes of further progress and prosperity for Kuwait and its people under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. His Royal Highness, Prince Salman bin Hamad, commended Kuwait's accomplishments and comprehensive development, which consolidated its international position. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, commended the long standing Bahraini Kuwaiti ties and multi sector collaboration. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to furthering bilateral relations between both countries and developing collaboration across all sectors to meet the aspirations of both countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent similar congratulatory cables to the Prime Minister of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Dr. Mohammed Sabah Al Salim Al Sabah. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman Lim Salam, held a meeting with the President of the Grand National Assembly of Turkey, Naman Krotmros, on the sidelines of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly meetings held in Azerbaijan. Lim Salam emphasized the important role of parliaments in enhancing bilateral relations and increasing coordination and understanding. He commended the deep and close Bahraini Turkish relations and the attention they receive from the leadership of both countries. Enhancing bilateral parliamentary cooperation for the benefit of both friendly nations, as well as promoting cooperation. In and broader areas were also discussed during the meeting. The parliamentary delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain, led by First Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Abdel Nabi Salman, participated in the proceedings of the Parliamentary Conference on the World Trade Organization, organized by the Inter-Parliamentary Union and the European Parliament in Abu Dhabi, the UAE. The parliamentary delegation highlighted that involving parliaments in the discussion of issues related to the global trading system is an initiative that should be supported to enhance transparency and accountability in the global trading system. The delegation emphasized their continuous efforts to coordinate with their their GCC counterparts to achieve shared goals and aspirations. They pointed out that the hosting of this conference by the UAE confirms the interest of the GCC countries in the role of the World Trade Organization and ensuring the consideration of the interests of all parties involved. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Yasser bin Ibrahim Hamidan, affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to continue developing and providing electricity transmission networks at the highest levels of quality. This came during a field visit made by the Minister along with the Chairman of the Islamic Development Bank Group, Dr. Mohamed Suleiman Al Jasser, to East Isa Town Power Station. The Minister highlighted the ongoing cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the ISDB, which has contributed to the completion of numerous projects in line with comprehensive development efforts. Dr. Mohamed bin Suleiman Al Jasser praised the progress witnessed in strategic projects in the Kingdom of Bahrain and its ability to meet the increasing demand for electricity, thereby achieving the desired goals in the field of infrastructure and energy sustainability. Minister of Youth Affairs Rawan bint Najib Tawfiqi received founding members of Masari program. She praised the achievement of Masari in its first edition, which provided training and educational opportunities for youth in various local and international educational institutions. She emphasized the importance of enhancing the capabilities of youth to develop their practical and scientific skills. Tawfiqi also highlighted the importance of building on the achievements and working to enhance them by seeking high-quality training opportunities and entering into partnerships with more educational institutions. She added that the second edition of Masari has been designed in a modern and distinctive manner by increasing the number of tracks to align with the needs of Bahraini youth. The Kingdom of Bahrain hosted the regional workshop organized by the UNESCO Regional Center for Quality and Excellence under the title Developing Higher Education Programs in Arab Countries in Light of Future Skills and Professions. During the workshops, the speakers emphasized Bahrain's commitment to drive development in the educational sector, considering it as the cornerstone of knowledge-based economic development. They commended the initiatives of Arab countries in developing higher education programs and stressed the importance of providing learning options and interactive online platforms to ensure lifelong learning 
learning opportunities and smooth adaptations of programs to the rapidly changing labor market, in addition to the importance of focusing on professional skills and experiences. The workshop was jointly organized by UNESCO and the Higher Education Council with the participation of over 550 attendees representing 150 international organizations. The Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs, NPRA, continues its inspection campaigns held across the governorates of Bahrain in cooperation with the various police directorates of the Ministry of Interior and the Labor Markets Regulatory Authority, the LMRA. The campaigns continue as part of the efforts exerted by the Ministry of Interior to ensure adherence to residency laws and combating illegal residencies. The joint efforts resulted in the apprehension of several individuals who violated regulations and laws and legal measures were taken against them. The Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs call on all members of the society to support the efforts of government agencies in addressing illegal practices by contacting the NPRA's call center. From 2002 to 2022, Bahrain's economy consistently expressed experienced annual growth, establishing itself as one of the most diverse economies in the region and surpassing its established goals. More in this report. Recognizing the vital role of economic diversity in achieving sustainable development and economic stability, Bahrain has implemented policies and legislation that foster economic diversity with the aim to move beyond dependence on the oil sector and explore new avenues of growth. Statistics revealed during the Economic Development Board's meeting chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted the tangible outcomes of these policies. For instance, the non-oil sector has significantly increased its contribution to the gross domestic product, rising to 83% compared to 58% in 2002. Furthermore, Bahrain has successfully attracted foreign direct investments exceeding 2.8 billion US dollars since the launch of the Economic Recovery Plan in 2021, surpassing the set target. This achievement demonstrates international investors' confidence in Bahrain's potential and the effectiveness of its economic policies. Bahrain's economic policy places significant emphasis on the development of the logistics services sector. Ambitious projects, including the expansion of Bahrain International Airport, Khalifa bin Salman Port and the Bahrain LNG Terminal, not only enhance Bahrain's infrastructure, but also contribute to the diversification and growth of the economy. Bahrain's ambitious economic vision and strategic policies position the country for sustainable development and economic prosperity, paving the way for a more resilient and vibrant economy.